What? I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna do the thing. The the Funkle thing. The what? Old friends new game is the name of the quest to unlock the the new the new fungal fungal game. Oh, you're finally doing it? Yeah, it's like four days in, right? It's all right. I'm a streamer. I'm allowed to speed run late. It's late. Well. Oh. The girl that like. Yep, it's, it's the beast hammer lady. Yay! We know these people. Let's switch to Naida so we can read their brains. Actually, finish the work here. We also have to make haste and place our. Ugh. I have to read it really fast. Place our orders. Our purchase of span the ca Oh my god. It's like a flash. Come on. Show me the text. She thinks fast. What are you talking about? Okay. All right. Blah, blah, blah. She's supposed to do work later. What about this guy? When we officially begin promoting, we'll need to set up more advertisements. Okay. And then after the quest, you think they'll have more? Maybe. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. Oh, the spirit is ever, I see. You look quite spry yourself. Ha Anya and Balfour, too. Fancy running into both of you here. Well, back to the point, then. What are the two of you doing here? If Parma still remembers correctly, this was where we would get all those floral jellies. This shit cringe. What? <laughs> what? You can't handle me reading the text? All right. 16 year olds, what are you gonna do? Ah, our two great heroes, your voices alone swell my confidence greatly. Well then, shall I proceed to give you my report on the results of our work? Previously, the two of you declared that the Minopalata Cup Beast Tamers Tournament should be suspended for a time while the Academia improves the design of the Wisdom Orb. I believe the two of you are still waiting for notice concerning that. Yeah, that's right. Layla, Sino, and the researchers responsible should inform us if there's any progress, right? Traveler saying, not that you'd understand their technical jargon much. Well, that's kind of how it is. We, would be, we wouldn't be much help. We'd probably hinder them, really. Balfour, ah, uh, how meticulous, how forbearing of you. I, for once, practically brim over with excitement when I consider the grand scenes from the previous tournament. So I attempted to ask some of the related academia staff recently to get some details. At present, improvements to the Wisdom Orb are being put through their theoretical stages. In other words, any practical production will take some time yet. However, the once heated discussions around the first iteration of the event are decreasing by the day, and the tournament itself is being forgotten, even if slowly. We cannot allow the influence of the previous event to be wasted. Oh boy, he's all about marketing. Oh, bend your knees. Again, one of these days. Why am I just falling? I don't know. It's very concerning that you just walk into a room and then just like, and then you catch yourself. It's not something fun to watch. It's kind of concerning. Why am I falling? Or even just like standing there, just normally, not even like getting up quick. I it's know. Just... <laughs> I can't tell if it's I'm like somehow doing it on purpose or no. I don't think it's on purpose. I think you're just. I don't know what it is. Is it just like impulsive thoughts just manifesting before I can think of them? Or... It could be just impu uh, impulsive thoughts. Yeah, you're like, what? What would happen if I hit my head on the table behind me right now? We no more like. I don't know. It's weird. I don't mean to. And then it's happening, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Dad. Yeah, that's very concerning. I, I, it's, like, I, it's not fun to watch when you do it. I can't force myself to fall backwards. Like, at all. I'm probably not to fall forwards. Oh, goodness. Because I know how to fall. Because you know how to fall, yeah. I'm, that, that, that wasn't there last time I fell forwards. I almost hit my head. Yeah, that was a little close to the, to the like, step ladder there. Um, uh, I can fall forwards on purpose, mm -hmm. um, but falling backwards is not something I like doing. Excuse me. I can fucking projectile myself towards the ground and just be fine. Yeah, we did what? that a lot in Kung Fu. What? We threw ourselves on the ground a lot in Kung Fu, if I remember right. I can just, like, jump in the air and, like, be okay, but I haven't taken my medicine for a while. 
and yeah, them. especially since the, uh, the 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 pharmacy got us and wants us to do it. What? Oh, we have a no. Nobody's here. I was gonna say I thought so. I thought someone was here, but I guess not. Here? Oof. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Just a moment. Uh, put this way yet. All right. Sorry. Back to this. All right. Ah, oh, the, the, it'll be wasted. As such, I've teamed up with Miss Hania and I'm here to organize a thematic event. And then the traveler asks, what does thematic event mean exactly? Is what these fungus-shaped pieces are on the table for? That's right. Mr. Balfour has been looking for sponsors as part of organizing the next tournament, and he has sought to learn some marketing skills from Leeuwen. Uh, oh, great. Ah, oh, excuse me. While doing that, he encountered a certain game called, known I'm as Fainer Mechanics. Subsequently, he bought the Samaru franchise rights for that game and put together an all-new game with me as a consultant. We call it Fungus Mechanicus. Fungus Mechanicus, huh? Let Paimon guess. So are we going to take command of various rooms to duke it out with some machines? Ha <laughs> ha, you're indeed insightful, Silver Champion. You got it in one. It's my belief that this game is so easy to understand and promote and has a great potential that it's worth exploring. If we can successfully market it as a spin-off to the Beast Tamers tournament, we can allow the later to stick in people's minds the long term. That way, the next tournament we hold will attract a larger audience and a larger pool of contestants. Of course, this can only go ahead with your permission. After all, you have the final say on how the tournament will be organized. Uh, I think it's worth a shot. Hmm. Well, neither the Traveler or Pylon really know that much about doing business, but Paimon thinks you've got a good point there, Balfour. You and Hania have been working to the, on this together, and Paimon believes in the two of you, so go right ahead. We haven't played the game yet, but Paimon bets that loads of people will love it. Balfour, wonderful. Since the two of you have agreed, let's go ahead and promote Fungus Mechanicus. The game is in its testing stages at the moment, so we'll need to invite people to play test it and collect their feedback so that we can make further improvements. And I'm sure that you, who surely encountered all man or popular games throughout Tabat, will come up with the best suggestions of them all. Let's do it, Traveler. This is one of your strongest points, after all. <sighs> all right, the golden comet is about to strike. Hehe, <laughs> before that, Paimon's got a question for you, honey. Do you mean to ask about Bongohead and the others? That's right. Paimon misses our shroom buddies. How are they doing? Anya, don't you worry. They're doing great. Living carefree as can be, too. Twirly Whirly and Blizzara are current staying at the temporary residence in the northern Port Ormos. One of the previous contestants is taking care of them. Bongohead and Kindlejoy are nearby. If you like, Silver Companion, you can go play with them. Nearby, you say? Well then, Traveler, Paimon will go look for Bongohead while you play test, all, tie test later, all right? I'll join you shortly. Well then, let's not lose any time. Come, Golden Comet. The early build of Fungus Mechanicus is ready for you. Paimon actually left the Traveler. Cool. Order trial. Not, a, not get attempted. 
the most basic challenge in Fungus Macau. Learn the fundamentals of this game through this clear and simple match. Defeat all mechanica. And there's a help here. You've got you've got Bongo Head. And we've got Dual Blaze. And then we're going up against Electro and Cryo. Alright. Party set up. Do these two, and that's all we get. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright. Genuinely mean people. During Fungus Mechanus, kiss three stammers must direct their little fungi to defeat the mechanic. Little fungi will automatically choose the nearest mechanics and attack it. You can use the white indicator lights to track the current target each fungus has selected. At the same time, the opposing mechanic will try to target the little fungus closest to it. And and tension can be seen via red indicator lines. Use the controller or directly press the little fungi on the field to switch between the fungi you control. Click on any spot on the field in opposing mechanicus or in mechanical mechanicus to direct your little fungus to move to that spot or to start attacking. Use the marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash powerful skills. You will regain marvelous gels over time. Additionally, you can use plaudatory protections on the field to obtain additional. Certain skills must have a target selected before they can be used. All right. So, so basically, for this one, you should tap a watch and press the Y button every once in a while to keep them healed. Got it. Now you have to start getting up at it. The fire guy. Yeah, I wanna I wanna use the I wanna control this guy. There we go. Happen. What? You were. Oh, okay. I wanna control well I guess I just, just I guess I only can fire guy. Um, just use your controller to swap characters. Oh. And now click that mechanicus and then you'll get them all. Cool. Oh, alright. So it's you switch characters like you do in the Oh, there we go. Okay, got it. So, uh, Clamford, register. I'm really that these group of friends have a lot of just genuinely mean people in it. Yeah. Um. Okay. So this person has a point. Uh. Randomly tuning into a conversation. Yippee! Just want to say that me and friends were joking around with other friends. It was none of your business to tune in. Okay. Yeah. Makes okay. sense. And even if it was, you had no right getting. Mad, mad had nothing to do with you. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. All right, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, if you don't, 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 don't police other people's feelings. All right, Balfour, how was it, Golden Comet? How did your first taste of Fungus Mechanicus gameplay go? Judging by expression, I suppose you haven't come to a conclusion yet. Well, we need to conduct further testing. That is true. With this little test contest, it is indeed rather difficult to judge the strengths and flaws of Fungus Mechanicus. Don't worry. Miss Tanya and I will be here for a while, and we have one new Mechanicus stage for you every day. Seven in total. Come over here whenever you have the time, and you'll get the opportunity to test those stages. Although you are the overall overseer in these matters, this game was something that Miss Hanya and I came up with on our own accord. So this is an expenditure of time that lies outside your plans. As such, a fee will be provided for your services rendered. Haha, I won't say no to that. Very straightforward. I like it. We've applied for the two fungi to be furnished with sufficient residence privileges so they heal here in part almost through the fungus mechanicus uh, testing phase. Your silver companion can spend more time with Bongo Head too. Good for Pylon. Just a minute. Is it sociopath? Um, how can I put this? Teenagers haven't fully formed their emotional well-being. So they, if an adult did it, 
you could say that, but as a child, even as a, a young adult, um, it's, it's, uh, they can, they, they still have time to not be like that. If you're lucky. I'm like looking at it and I'm like, yeah, Dude, you don't understand empathy. Like you've never experienced that in your life. Oof. That's like, harsh. Yeah. I hear you though. Like, Oh, being mad at somebody for saying something to somebody that you have no connection to mm-hmm. or just somebody you're friends with. And they're not, they're saying things that like they couldn't say to you, but you're still angry. Yeah. It's a, it's a question of emotional processing at that point. All right. I get angry. When my Hello, Adam and Flea. Jokes. Sports. Welcome to the stream. Okay, no, I got somebody I'm chatting to you in stream. Can I have a talk with them? We're playing some Fungus Mechanicus right now. Welcome me in. Doing okay. How about yourself? Oh, hi, NDB Ghost. And Worm12. Okay. Wow. Hey, Rippers. Welcome in. <laughs> nice to see you. What's with the feet? <laughs> uh. And Twitch Panda, lots of people have come to the stream. Look at all these people. And in Glorious Vaughn, wow, welcome all in. Thanks for the bits and the cheering. Yeah, we're playing some, 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 uh... Oh, and look at that. Thank you for the follow. Oh my goodness. Did I, did I like miss a raid? Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. Did I miss a raid? <laughs> no? <laughs> Wow, look at all you folks coming in. Thank you for coming in. It didn't, did I miss a raid? <laughs> Appreciate you guys going in. So, yeah, we're playing some Genshin Impact. Uh, thank you for coming in and all the cheering. Wow, you guys are being so nice. Appreciate it. Ah, yeah, I missed the raid. Well, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Hello, uh, Statsman99999. That's right, 999999. <laughs> Livestream raid. Awesome. Very cool to see all you, and thanks for the bits, Rippers, and appreciate it. We're doing this this new, like, like temporary event where we do, like, a combat in in with Fungus right now in, in Genshin, and my kid was talking about their friends off camera, and I must have been paying attention to them and didn't hear the raid shoot through, so... Welcome in. I gotta make sure my alerts are a little higher. <laughs> I gotta adjust that. It's so sweet of him. I love that. So nice of you. Live stream raids. What a nice thing to do. Super appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, uh, appreciate having you guys in. I actually have taken the last like three. Oh, here it comes. I turned up the alerts just in time. <laughs> Oh no, you're gonna chat it, you're gonna bounce them up. They're gonna come up. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are being so nice. And you're gonna hear it again, I think. I think it just yep, here goes. It's just gonna keep going. <laughs> now a hype train started. Wow! And you guys are being so nice. Yeah, I took like the last three days off because I was feeling a little down actually and this is this has been this really helps me feel better about this appreciate y'all coming in oh that's going to keep singing all night isn't it <laughs> oh gosh Gosh, there's so many folks that I've never met before. I, I really welcome you. <laughs> it's just gonna get, because they're being wild. Thank you so much for all the hype and just love. And oh wow, you guys are awesome. I want to show off. I got, uh, I got. There's the hype train song. It took it a while. I got new uh, 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 merch. It's backwards because I invert my camera, but it's uh, uh, Zero Limits Gaming. We have merch now. But yeah, thank you for coming in, and you guys are awesome. And I'm drinking out of my brand new Zero Limits Gaming water bottle. I wanted to show off, but it looks like it says EX because it's backwards. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. As I said, I'm, I actually took a couple, took a couple days off. I, was, I wasn't feeling it. And uh, you guys have, have blessed my day, and I appreciate it greatly. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, he's playing. He's over there playing the boss battles. Oof, thank you for the hype train and just coming in and, and the, the live raid. You guys are awesome. <sighs> All right. And as I was saying, back to the text, I guess. This is the, so Hanya says, he, yes, you should go see Bongo Head as well. He misses you too, you know. Bring this with you. We can feed Bongo Head and Kindle Joy with it. It's their favorite. So we have little, li he's still live at rating. That is so nice. That's so nice of you guys. Oh, hello. So we have little sentient funguses in this game, but we appreciate it. Yeah, I hope he had, has a good day. Yeah, I know that, I don't remember if, I think I think, I think think it was uh, Mackenzie rated off to, to Rivers just the other day. Uh, it's good to see everybody's happy and healthy and doing a good job. I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the support and, uh, and uh, everybody, uh, all the love. It's cool. Ah, all right, back to this. <laughs> you guys are making my night. Thank you. All right. So Paimon says, come on, Bongo Head. Let's play a clapping game. Come on, Kindle Joy. Let's dance with Bongo Head. Oh, my gosh. These three little guys are so amazingly cute. Mm, we've gotten pretty familiar with Kindle Joy. We still can't communicate as well as we can with Bongo Head. You're a real happy being, aren't you, Paimon? You hear your... Traveler? I don't say traveler. How are things going with the Fungus Mechanicus trials? Well, the test period will be on for a while now. Ooh, so Hanya and our shroom buddies will be there for a while, huh? That's great. Paimon really likes the mushroom people. Uh, by the way, I've got the Pokemon game in the channel. A uh, Pokemon will spawn in five minutes. That's what the little timer over there is. <laughs> Uh, Paimon was planning to ask you to stay here for more so that we can spend more quality time with the fungus. But it looks like we can hit two birds with one stone, testing fungus mechanics and playing with our shroom buddies at the same time. Okay, you have a good carefree time with Pongo and Kindle Joy, and okay, and I don't get to read that because it went by too fast. <laughs> All right. So they're very, very, very happy little fungal people. Bongo head super fun. Oh my goodness, they're over there. Can can she read their minds? No, she cannot. But we can we talk to them again? Yes, we can. Hey there, Bongo head Gindlejoy. We're here to play with you. What shall we do together with our our shroom buddies? Let's feed them. Sure, we've had so much fun. Last time, we didn't notice how many marvelous jelly flavors were available. Let's pay a little bit more attention to the shrooms for fur, shall we? Okay, let's use Valberry flavored. Bongo really likes Valberry flavored. Kindle Joy, not so much. All right, so Bongo Head likes Valberry ones, huh? Maybe we can squeeze lots of Valberry juice and let Bongo Head soak it in next time. All right. Well, thank you for the hype train. That is awesome. And everybody gets like their rewards now. Appreciate you coming in. Though it told me that I missed the hype train. <laughs> Very cool. All right. On the other hand, it seems like the Kindle Joy isn't that keen. Maybe it doesn't like sweet stuff. That sure fits its personality. All right, what shall we do in there? So let's feed them something else. Let's feed them crab roe flavored. Is this flavor really a thing? Hanya sure gets some interesting ideas. Bong, go ahead. Nope, Kindle Joy likes it though. He likes the crab roe. Looks like Bongo Head doesn't mind the flavor of crab roe at all. Kindle Joy seems pleased too. It looks like crab roe is the happy medium. It's kind of time consuming to make crab roe, but a small sacrifice to make our for our buddies. Let's make some for them later. Once we know how to make marvelous jellies, we can whip up a great feast for them. What shall we do together with our shrimp buddies? Let's feed them the third thing, mint flavor. Bongo Head likes mint. Bongo Head basically likes everything. Kendall Joy, not so much. 
All right. Looks like Bogglehead loves minty fresh flavors. Do you think he'll have tons of fun in a mint field? Hmm. But it looks like Kendall Joy's not loving the cool flavors much. But, oh, right. Let's make some gestures at them. Hmm, that's true. Some people can use simple hand gestures to make animals understand what they mean. Let's give it a go. With our bond, with our friendly friends, we should have no problem. All right, let's... Well, let's give them a thumbs up. All right, Pycon will do it too. Thumbs up for good old Bongo Head and a handsome Kindle Joy. Bongo Head is okay with it. Kindle Joy likes the thumbs up. That's cool. Thumbs up for Bennett, I guess. He <laughs> looks like they're both mighty pleased. Let's give them more encouragement in the future. What shall we do? Let's make... Let's do different sounds. What do you mean? We should try imitating animals and see what sort of reaction we get from them? Hee <laughs> hee. Paimon wants to try that too. Straight to the cow. Meow. Haha, <laughs> you're doing a cat, huh? Paimon's joining in. Bongo head. Mm -hmm. Kindle joy? Mm hmm? Uh, they seem kind of curious. Have they never seen a cat before? Well, I guess that just means we should introduce them to the future and help them make some new friends. Speaking of which, would we call a cat that lives in the rainforest a forest cat? And if that makes friends with a fungus, that would make it a shroom cat. What shall we do together? Okay, we'll come back and play more later. Huh? We have something else to do? Well, then let's get to it quickly. And we can get back to continue playing with Bongo and Kindle Joy. Paimon both likes to play with them. All right. Well, we're going to get a Pokemon in 30 seconds. And then we will do... We got, like, the rules for this. Looks like we got... We unlocked some more Funguses. And we got some more Mechanicuses we have to deal with. And... It looks like we get the prize for the first one. And we've got three more. All right. Pseudo Wudo. I've got the Pseudo Wudo. So if anybody wants a Pseudo Wudo, be sure to catch it in chat. You've got a minute and 30 seconds. All right. We'll do another battle. All right. Play Fungus Mechanicus. In we go. All right. The Flame of Samadhi. All right. So let's party set up. Hydro. Do that. Start. Good old swirl attacks. Good old swirls, swirl, 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 swirl. Target this guy. Oh, we can't reach. Oh, darn it. We can't reach. Super attack. Like the thingy. There's a lot of these. Healing, that's good.
Challenge complete. Fungi repeated less than two. Time elapsed less than four. All defeated. All right. Exit. I think that means we succeeded. <sighs> it's one down. That was actually kind of hard. Go to challenge. Oh, we are at the challenge. Right. I'm gonna play the next challenge. Already set up. So we have to fight. We're fighting Pyro, Cryo. Increase frost barriers and deals cryo. Frost barriers remain on the field, they will block the movement and certain attacks. This one fires off mist and shields, and this one blazing sparks. Okay. So we need to have. We gotta have something to break. The pyro. We have both recommendeds. All right, we'll go with that. Let's we'll see how these go. Ace clarity start. We need to switch to him. Need to why? Now I need to switch to him, focus on him on that. Belt that away. Attack that I don't know. Squirrel going on. this all right that was a little bit easier than the last one i think my brain start to thoroughly comprehend what's going on all right water bang barrier mechanical Work in coordination. In order to win, the little fungi should also plan their own moves accordingly. So we have bleeding spikes, pyro damage, uh, hydro shields, and frost barriers again. Okay. So once again, oh, we got cryo now. Oh, they're suggesting you do this. Okay. 
And then let's do on about. And I guess Pyro. Yeah. So that will get us. All right, we'll do Pyro and if we'll Virgin. We'll see how that goes. And if that's bad, we'll switch to. Enemy reinforcements are coming. Okay. Some big browsers down. Good, good, good. He's in. Some melts. There we go. Big, big explosion. Big swirls. Some cryo on them. Big melts. Looks like we lost one of our, our our guys, unfortunately. Some swirl, 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 swirl. All right, well, we still won. Not as big of a victory, but we did it. All right, I think that's all of the mechanic key I've unlocked at this point. There we go. And that's all of them for today. <sighs> all right. Fungus game. Fungus, fungus, fungus. No, nah, they probably don't. They're gotcha game makers. They don't care. <laughs> all right. Let me play the fungus game. All right. What are we dealing with? We are dealing with... Thundering Marge can fire off litter bolts of lightning that'll bounce around, hitting several fungus. Use loose formation to decrease the threat of these devices. Upon being claimed, the mystic blaze devices in the stage will continuously deal pyro damage to near life when being claimed. Okay. Uh, utilize these devices to increase your odds of winning. So we've got something that triggers pyro reactions. Okay, cool. So we'll do hydro... Dendro Animo, then I guess. You know, Dendro. I'll probably bring Pyro just in case. We'll run, we'll run another Burgeon team. But yeah, they probably don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Of course, I don't care. All right, I got focused on fungi fights for a couple of minutes here. Special devices are present in certain stages. Command the fungi to claim these devices for additional support. Okay. Oh, 
I'm so bad at controlling these little guys. Fire guy, go go here. Ah, uh, little guy, do the thing. You do the thing too. Hydro guy, do the thing. Why why won't pyro guy do the thing I tell it to? Go here. You're pyro guy. You do the pyro thing. Oh, he does it. Oh, he does it, and then he comes back. I get it. Okay. More reinforcements. That was a little wild, but we got there. At least everybody survives. That's what really matters. At least to me. Oh, okay. All right. What's our next stage? Here, the various mystic devices across the field each have their own fascinating elemental of power. Making full use of them will be the key to victory. Okay, so we have more devices. All right. Upon being claimed, the mystic phasm and mystic freezing devices in this stage will continuously deal hydro and cryo damage. Okay, utilize them. So let's do hydro, electro, onimo. Cryo. Interestingly, I got another sponsor offer for another gotcha game that is like Bejeweled. See, now you're you're a see. It was unfortunate when you didn't uh, get your your other sponsorships, but I, I don't think that means that people won't consider you for sponsorship. I think it means that they're like, oh, she does gotcha games. Cool. We we we, we will we'll make that happen. Playing that. There we go. Rock rough. Oh, I want to catch that. But I'm doing this now. I guess I have to finish in time.
Oh, you didn't do it in time. Okay, shoot. That didn't work out. Well, there'll be more rock roughs, I guess. Uh-oh, one of my guys died. That's not good. He wasn't doing so good. All right, well, we didn't all retreat, so that's what matters. All right, let's see. I got 20 seconds. Got to catch the rock roft. Oh, or at least I got to throw a ball. Hey, I made it. All right. And we did the thing, too. Yay. Did the thing. All right. One in a thousand. Oh, this isn't... Ugh. Yes. I don't want to re rematch. Do, 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 do. Oh, you didn't catch it, Mackenzie. It's all right. It's just a C tier. I just didn't have it, so I wanted to catch it. That's all. You'll, you'll have other opportunities to get rock grubs, I'm sure. Okay, two more to go. Stormproof. Ah, all right. Even if you've laid out seemingly impregnable thermation, the wary of the shooter mechanically mechanically on the enemy side that will aim their attacks a little funky in the rear. Remain protective at all times in order to gain control over the field. Yeah. All right. It's just a it's just a rock rough. Just matters to me. All right. So there's some sort of guy in the back that shoots at us. And that's what we want to try to defend. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm kind of like in this party, the virgin party. I think I'm going to stick to the virgin party. I'm just going to do that and go from there. Okay. This roll's going on. Um, yeah, point where I'm going. This point and click mechanic is uh, giving me trouble. I'm not too good at it. things under four okay yeah okay we got it we got it in time all right we got one more and then we're done with fungal mechanicus i will say there was one of the mechanicus challenges that i did where i um never finished it i think it was the the one where it became like a gotcha mechanic so there was one where Instead of you controlling like what you had and what you got. So the first, okay, rewind. First Mechanicus, before you started the game, the first time we did Mechanicus, every time you challenged, you got points, which uh, 
let you level up your towers. So you kind of felt like you were doing normal tower defense where you play the game, you do a certain degree, you level up your towers, you play again, and you're stronger because your towers are stronger, right? So that was the first Mechanicus. It was basically just your standard tower defense game, right? Monkey, monkey game, whatever the monkey game is that people played on cool math games 10 years ago, right? And then they said, oh, okay, well, that was fun. Let's change it up a little bit. So they did another one where you didn't have any progression system. You just had these cards and you like drew three cards and you could pick one and the card would have some sort of effect. And some of the cards were risky cards that like had a big bonus and a small advantage. And, but it was pretty much random. It was like a gotcha, right? It was just a gotcha or anything. Just had to roll the dice, right? There was no progression. There was no, no extrinsic growth. Ooh, excuse me. No extrinsic growth. It was just you played. And sometimes you got good cards and sometimes you got bad cards or sometimes you got cards that were good for the team that you chose and sometimes you got cards that weren't good for the team that you chose. Um, I didn't finish that one. I, I'm like, this isn't worth the Prima Gems. I don't care. We're not going to play it anymore. And I just didn't finish it. I didn't find it fun. The third Mechanicus event, the one that took place in Inazuma, I believe it was around when you played. Maybe you were playing that time. It was a little bit of both, and it was tolerable, but I still don't think I got like full marks on it. I was like, mm, Mechanicus, I don't. I, the, the second one really burned me. I did not enjoy the second one at all. This one is definitely different. It's not It's not the same by any stretch. It's not the same as the fungal fight, and it's not the fight as the Mechanicus, but like. I feel like I'm kind of in control, which makes me happy, I guess. Because the normal mechanic is, like, you control a character. You can't do damage, but you can trigger reactions. And so it'd be like, Ganyu, freeze, freeze, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but you couldn't burst. You had to just use normal attacks, which, you know, bow characters, catalyst characters, they dominated. Um, I think you could use E-skills, too. So, like, you could drop an, uh, a Mona E or something like that to try to draw, but I actually don't remember offhand. I just remember using, yes, you could, because you could use Jean's E to throw the enemies off the cliff. And so sometimes the best strategy was to set up a bunch of defenses over here and then stand here with Jean, and every time someone came along, you just blast them off into the stratosphere and they'd fall in a pit and die. Uh, that was fun. Or another one was uh, set up a bunch of defenses over here and then use Geo Traveler and make a wall. And they can't get back to the wall. <laughs> and he would just like set up something that did AOE damage right next to the wall, and you just go blah blah blah, and then I would all get stuck to on the wall, and then it was, yeah, it was fun. It was weird. It was fun, but yeah, you could you could use E skills and normal attacks and charge attacks, but you couldn't use bursts. Um, all right, so last challenge. Just as how there is a day changes terrain on a battlefield, crucial positions exist. In this Mechanicus Stage 2, arrange your little fungi accordingly and make the most of their potential. Okay, well, we'll see what that means. We're going to do the same thing. Mystic Energizer devices in the stage will grant buffs to other Mechanici. T take over these devices to obtain more Marvelous Gel. When you defeat a Mechanicus, you will join one extra gel. Okay, so there's buffing devices on the field. Oh, there's a lot of Mechanici that I have to face here. Let's just do this. Well, let's do this thing. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Caution. Madness ahead. Okay, that's a, that's a stage name.
But we need to take out this guy. Oh no, my fire guy is not doing well. No, he's not. Oof. Didn't get my healing in. Another one? Oh my goodness, another stage. Oof. Get over here, guys. Oh, no. Oh. Ow, close. Yeah, I was really close. That was the hardest stage for sure. Yeah, that was a little hard to try to get organized, especially since I lost one of our little guys almost immediately. Couldn't get those virgin reactions off. Okay. That's that. Okay. So that's this event. Yeah, that's this event. Uh, afterward? Okay, now we have a second, a final quest. Parting arrangement. Wait until the following day, okay. And I actually haven't completed my commissions yet. I need to do that. I missed the afterword for Lisa's quest. If there was one. I don't know if there was one, but I, I think I missed it. I was disappointed that I missed the afterword. Not, like, super disappointed, because, honestly, I find some of, uh, some of Lisa's dialogues to be... Um, disturbing especially in english but not so much in japanese so i wasn't like really sad that i missed the end of the afterward for lisa's but yeah okay so balford thank you for your hard work these past days golden comet freak traveler and silver companion i've logged all your games and we've been able to gather lots of data from your game records you fall under the category we call cynical class players, and I believe that between you and normal testers, we'll be able to come up with some stable improvement directives. Of course, we'd also like to hear what you thought of the game overall, and if you have any suggestions in that regard. Your feedback will not only be of a positive impact on Thunga's Mechanicus, but will also affect the next tournament to some extent. Finally, we'd like to hear about your general preferences. Would you prefer novelty or more competitive aspects? I would prefer uh, cooperation. That's my thing. I like cooperation. Right. Competitive clashes are really important, sure. But we prefer that future challenges test the bonds between us and our fungal friends. Bonds, huh? All right. I understand, says Hanya. Mr. Balfour, do you remember what I told you about the most important idea? 
Understood. I shall endeavor to design more challenges that will test your coordination with one another, where effective communication will allow you and your fungi friends to unleash your true potential. Same as always, huh, you two? Regardless, that is for this round of fungus. That's it for this round of fungus mechanicus. Thanks for all your hard work. Nice. Now that we're done with work, it's time to collect our pay and get some food to reward ourselves. Yee. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. We're the organizers of the next tournament, while Hanya and Valfor are making preparations for it. Hanya are, Hanya's our awesome assistant, and Valfor's also being employed by us. Does that mean we have to uh, pay our employees for their hard work and stuff? Yes. Anya. Oh no, that's not necessary. In fact, it's too kind of you. I volunteered to do this job, and I learned a lot from it too. Pay your employees. <laughs> I mean, I'm someone from the mercantile industry as well, so the experience of managing Fungus Mechanicus has been quite valuable to me. Pay your employees. If this would work were open to the public, I'm quite sure you'd have no lack of offers from people who'd like to buy the rights to it, to be honest. Once Fungus Mechanicus starts turning a profit, Mr. Barfor should make his investment back, and a large proportion of the profits will go to me. All right. Paid in paid in shares. She's vested. Okay. Anya. Then I will set a portion of that aside for use as funds for the next tournament, and another portion will be used to care for our shroom friends. And by that... I don't just mean Bongo Head, but also the fungi and the other contestants have entrusted to me, like Stormstress. In other words, the improvements you're helping us make toward Fungus Mechanicus will not only make a tiny puppet, but will also go to securing the welfare of the fungi. How sweet. Ooh, that's it. Well, Paimon doesn't get all this profit and earning stuff, but it sounds like everyone wins, huh? Hee <laughs> hee. Paimon's feeling that sense of accomplishment already. If we get the chance, we should tell our friends in Sumeru about Fungus Mechanicus. Gotta spread the word and everything. Of course, of course. I'll be heading out in the city with our fungus friends to meet up with my assistant. And by then we'll return to our campsite. And then we'll return to our campsite. The fungi who stay at the campsite will get worried if we're away for too long. Mr. Balfour will stay here to promote the test version of Fungus Mechanicus. So if you're not yet had your fill of fun, we can keep playing. Indeed, lay to your heart's content. Oh, you're going already, Hanya? With Bongo Head and the rest? Paimon still wants to play with Bongo Head. But meeting you again has most definitely put Paimon at ease. It was especially great to see that our shroom buddies are all right as rain, and we're, we're at just as tight as we used to be. Hanya, don't worry, I believe we'll meet again soon. The thought of the two of you constantly traveling, I do have some means of contacting you, for example. We can send you letters through the Adventurer's Guild. I'm sure that when we next meet, our friends will be both healthy and hearty. Just hang tight and wait for good news from me. Yep, we believe in you, Hanya. All right. Don't forget to take care of yourself. We'll see you next time, then, Golden Comet and Silver Companion. Does that mean she's gone? Yeah, it means she's gone. No more playtime with Fungi. We finished it up. It's okay. We did some playtime earlier. <laughs>